continuing this uh, lesson, um, let's say you wanted to put an opening here in this wall. Uh, you can, if the opening is from the very end, you can just click on this wall. Okay, click on it and you simply pull it back and you have a, your opening. Oh, make sure it's straight. And then you now have an opening here at the end. Okay, but let's say you wanted an opening in the middle. So let's just put this back. And let's say you want an opening in the middle. To make an opening in the middle, um, you're going to go to structure. And we're going to change it to structure. And then we're going to click on um, a wall, just like we click here. Okay, we can click on this wall. And then we can um, um, clone this wall or make a copy of this wall. Uh, but basically, uh, if we wanted to... Yeah, let's just do a clone. Uh, clone this wall. And then put this and push it back. And then this one, push this down. And simply pull this and line it up with this wall first. And then you can, oh, I'll just use this. Uh, and now you have, so basically you click creating two walls. like that so now you have an opening in the middle okay now to determine uh, the measurements of like this hallway or this wall opening you can click on uh, annotation and then you can put a dimension and you can put dim a dimension here like this one okay and you can push this back if you only wanted uh, so you now have this three dimensions here you have five, four, ten, and five. So that's five is the thickness of the wall because when you click a wall, the thickness is five inches, which is good. Okay, but if you don't want to show this five, then you have to click on this one and pull this to the left side, and this one pull this to the right side, and there you have it. 